Hey guys, what's going on? It's Bright Fusion here, and today I'm playing more Space Engineers, and today I am happy to announce that weapons have now been enabled. Now, that includes the Gatling Gun and the Rocket Pods. Now, you're looking at this and you're probably wondering why I've got a stripped down version of the Black Rose, which is something you guys have named as well. And that is because this amount of Rocket Pods seems to create so much force that it actually destroys itself, and I'll show that in a second. But I've got a little a variant here with I've taken off all the rocket pods and I've only put a few on each side with a four Gatling gun. So I'm going to get inside of it and turn my hat on so you guys can see now if I switch to them you guys can see that they work or at least it doesn't pop up disabled. So I'm going to show you guys the Gatling gun first which fires much like like you'd think. There's a, there is actually a sound now I think it fires much like the machine gun or the handheld assault rifle where it does Minuscule damage, but I'll fly closer to something just to show you guys the damage it actually does. I haven't actually really tested these out myself, I've just noticed the update was there, so I thought I'd show you guys. So, as you guys can see, against the light armor, it is denting a bit, but it's not doing a great deal of damage. On a smaller ship, however, I'm expecting this to be different. So here we have it colliding and it is breaking apart the ship like I said, much like the assault rifle. So let me flick over to the missiles. Now this might blow up the ship because it might actually be too much on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out of my ship. I am going to copy it with control C and I'm going to paste it over here just so we don't lose it. So there you go ship, have fun and I'm going to use this one. And if this fails then I can just remove the missiles. So let me go third person, I'll show you guys how this fires. <laughs> that didn't work. That uh, blew up my ship. So, let's go back over to this one and let's remove all but two. That should be enough. Let's see how it fires. There we go, we have a successful fire. And as you guys can see, it deals a ton of damage really really a lot of damage now this does spike up the energy when firing actually no I thought it did it doesn't apparently but uh this kind of negates all the cannons I've made so if I can see you can just fly around with missiles now but there you have it maybe maybe it's because the missiles were colliding like they were too close together so the actual instances would collide let me see if that was the case so let me put these two apart and see what happens then so here we go, they are not touching in any way, let's see what happens. No, they still <laughs> collide and blow themselves up. Let's paste the ship here. Let us do the same test, but I'm going to go three apart this time. To see yet again if that was the case, because I still think... I, I, I think that's what it is, I think it's just too close that they're touching. And let's go three apart, oops, got out. And let's fire. There we go. Okay, so three spaces apart is the best instance you can have for these. Because if you look when I fire them, you can see how big the missiles are. They aren't actually that sizable, but yeah, I guess having them three apart is the best. So there you guys instantly blown up the ship. Yeah, these are these are just gonna wreck havoc. These are just amazing, <laughs> amazingly effective. Now I'm going to test out and see what sort of damage they do against a thick wall and see how many they actually penetrate through. So let's go large wall here, let's turn on some symmetry. We've got that and we got that. There we go, thank you. Yeah, we've got that going there. Okay, there we go. Now let's go back a bit. I'm going to make this, oh no, four, five thick. Five thick should be good. So there we go. Just giving you guys a few details so you guys know uh, how this works exactly. So there we go, we've got a pretty pretty thick wall here. So as I said, that's five thick, so we'll get our ship and I will remove all but one. So let's get rid of you and there should be just one on that side and we'll see how this turns out. So let's see where my aim is. There we go, okay. So let's see how much this gets through. 
perfect test. That was actually, I think that went through three, if I'm going to guess correctly. So we've got one, two, okay, it, it went through two completely and damaged the third row. And you have an explosion radius of one, two, three, four, four. Is that four, really? One, two, three, four, five. Sorry, five. Five will damaging the sixth one. So that's a pretty decent impact. Like I said, if you cover your thing in missile pods, you will be extremely, extremely effective. So I'm going to mess around with this for a bit. I'm going to put these rockets back on. So, um, actually, yeah, no. I can just put it back on the side here, like so. One, two, three, four. Okay, I can have another one here. And that should be equal now. So I'll put one, whoops. Put one there. Okay, now I'm going to turn this on. And let's have a little bit more of a fun session before I finish up this video. So there we go. Just, just going to continue to test my theory that it is three spaces apart that you need these to be. So there we go. There's a ton of missiles on there. And let's... There we go, perfect. Look at that ship over there. Damn. It, it's just obliterating this thing. So here we go. You guys can see them firing. They do have a limited range as well as you guys can see they're exploding in the background. I think that is 70 blocks away, maybe. I'm just taking a rough guess there. But you guys can see the destructibility of that. Now to end the video, I am going to blow up my original, which is... Where is my original? I swore it was floating around over here. Don't tell me the camouflage has actually made me lose it now. No, where's my original Lotus? Oh no, I've actually lost it. I thought it was going to be a fun, uh, fun little thing to show you guys, the whole thing blowing up. Well, I think I've done enough explosions for this video. So I'm probably, I mean, like I said, I can probably just fill up this one with a ton more, but it does admittedly look pretty cool. So we'll put this over here. And I think you can have the Gatling guns close together. I haven't tested that out yet, but here we go. These are close together. Let's get this view here and let's see how they fire. Yes, these can be close together. But as you guys know, they don't damage larger ships, only smaller ones. So. I guess if you fire enough in one spot, they might be effective. Let's, uh, let's try that. Let's fire these all in one spot. Now, I should point out that uh, my ship is actually getting pushed back from this as well. If I turn my dampeners off, you can use it for thrusts. Rocket pods do the same as well, I believe, if I'm correct. Or at least having a lot of these do. As you guys can see, I'm going 3.8 meters per second. If I turn my edges on to stop me for a second. There we go, I've stopped. And fire one. And as you guys can see, it's slowly making me go faster and faster. Though I think the continuous fire of these are a lot better. Clearly. I mean, maybe you can have a whole ship just powered by firing these I wouldn't wouldn't recommend it but you know that's up to you to do can you fire oh there it is I found it I found the original Lotus Woo! I f oh yeah that's right you were out here I actually made two so I can show you guys what I was talking about so yeah having them out right dampeners were off <laughs> having them close together like this are not good and to give you guys the example I was telling you guys about let me get in here Go to this view and my game will most likely crash. I'm going to stop recording real quickly and start a new one just in case. Three, two, one. Clearly, that didn't work, but it should have looked pretty cool. It should have looked really, really cool. Now to go on and see if the bigger uh, weapons are enabled, I'm going to go over to this ship and equip the missile turret and equip this and see if the interior touch is going to work. It probably doesn't, but we'll test it out anyway. So here's a big ship. I'm on the wrong side of it, but that's okay. 
so here we have a turret on top. Now I think turrets are, or at least I figured they would be automated, but you never know. So here we have one of these. I'll put it on the front. Uh, we really need one. I'm only testing these anyway, and I think the hall turrets should be there. At least I expected that there to be one. Let me see if these are actually enabled at all. So T, T to T, T. Okay, interior turret is on, though I doubt it'll do anything. You gonna shoot me? No? If, if I pull my gun out at you, will you shoot me? <laughs> nope, okay. So let's go inside this ship and see if the other thing will work. Down we go. Where is the cockpit? I can never remember these ships laid out. There it is. Alright, oh, I forgot I can walk around this. Okay, here we go, and let's see if we can drag these down here and fire them. I can't seem to bring that down. Okay then. And activate by a numerical key. But apparently you can't drag them down, so... That puts them out of commission, I guess, for now anyway. So there you guys have it. That is the smaller guns enabled, but the larger ones, however, do not function, at least not to my knowledge. Can I? Right. Up we go. And, well, let's just go up to them and see whether or not it was my fault or whether there is actually something here stopping me from using. Now they're turned on. So, yeah, I just couldn't buy them because I couldn't use the hotbar for them. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. See you guys later.